to the Salty Scoop. It's your host, Lauren Williams. And Jack Kendrick. And it's been another successful week for the New Berlin Junior High, as this Friday, 14th, marks the end of the first quarter. Our New Berlin High School football team defeated Pleasant Plains last Friday at our homecoming game, with a score of a close 10-9. Nevertheless, a win for our friends. This Friday, New Berlin is speaking eight things. You can watch it on Channel 23. It is guaranteed to be, it is guaranteed to be a nail-biter under the Friday Night Lights. Also, both teams will need to need a win on Friday to qualify for playoffs. Faith Nuss, Adam Roberts, Oliver Breaker, Lauren Williams, Ethan Mudd, Will Cummings, Dane Ritchie, and Connor Shoes have been nominated to participate in this year's leadership conference on October the 27th. Freddie Mae launched last week, but don't forget to sell for student council. All the winter sports are coming quickly, so make sure to check out the Pretzel Press for sports conditioning. Guaranteed to benefit all the off-season players. The theme of the fall dance has been announced. Put on your best dress and strut the red carpet at, at the Hollywood theme dance, as this month of October puts a rest to the pillar of respect. The Pretzel Press has taken it into consideration to write about character counts and its role in students' daily lives. Thursday, the junior high girls basketball played home against Williamsville. New Berlin won by a landslide, 45-5. The girls had a great comeback after Monday night's loss against Pleasant Plains. We're going to spend some time talking with Coach Julie Rector of the New Berlin, New Berlin junior high girls basketball team. So how do you think this season is compared to last season for basketball? Well, Jack, um, I'm Julie Rector, by the way, the junior high basketball coach. Um, I, this is my first year um, coaching, but I think the girls are doing wonderful. They're hustling, they're listening, they are working really hard in practice, and it's carrying over to the games. That's great. <laughs> and also, we lost our first four games, and the last four games, we are, we've won three and lost one, so our, re our record is improved. That's right. I think we had a slow start at the beginning, had some really hard teams to play, and now um, I think we're going to continue to do well throughout does your, the season. Does your schedule get easier after a year? I think it does. I, I heard the first four games are the hardest games we'll play, and uh, yes. What are some of your upcoming games? Um, we have a sixth grade, we have 16 sixth graders, and we have um, a sixth grade tournament this Saturday, and then next week we travel to three away games. So for the seventh, six, is it a sixth and seventh grade team? Yes. So how many play, sixth graders play on that seventh grade team? So we move about Half of them dress us every seventh grade game. So we have a sixth grade scrimmage. Um, some sixth graders play up on seventh grade, and then all eighth graders for the eighth grade. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Make sure to come support our girls' basketball team and show off your pretzel pride. This concludes this week's recap, but we can't forget about our fun fact. Did you know banging your head against the wall for a whole hour burns 150 calories? If you're in dire need of weight loss, this is a way to shave off a few calories. Just kidding, don't do this at home.